So we're going to continue styling our this page here with the menu mainly. So we want to create the space between it right now. Uh, and we want to focus on the anchors right now because in our HTML these anchors are here uh, and we can just use those to actually change the width between them or the space between them. So in our CSS where it says anchor you're going to add a padding to this. So again we want zero from the top because we don't want to change any uh, or vertically alignment we only want to change the vertical one sorry the horizontal one. So we want 20 pixels so zero top 20 right and we actually want 0 bottom and 20 right so let's just check what this actually does so padding 0 space 20 and see here when refresh there actually creates space between them so now it's starting to look a little bit more like this but this doesn't have the line under and all of these uh, text here or the characters here are upper cased we could go into our HTML and start changing all of this and typing it in with upper case characters but we don't want that because we want the system to do all the work for us. First thing we want to change the actual um, uh, underline on the page so text decoration and we just want none on this one. So text decoration we can use for underline, line through and so on and so on. So if you do this save and refresh you can see we actually remove the line. Lines usually indicates that it's a link, but we don't want them up in our navigation usually. We just want to keep them to links in our content. We also want to add that the text actually becomes uppercases instead. So text transform, and then we can type uppercase, and this is the CSS for changing this. So check out the text now, it's going to change to uppercase. So now we're actually getting quite close to this part here. There's just one thing I want to do in our uh, CSS now. Because we know that there are already a lot of these hidden default settings uh, in CSS. So for example, with when we started out the body up here, we put in margin here. I really want to do more to our UL. Where did it go? Uh, the UL here. I want to add padding to zero and I want to add margin to zero as well. So resetting this settings because they can have some hidden uh, default settings that actually will change your design especially when you start doing your drop down. So it's just going to move it a little bit to the red left but it's now centered compared to those objects here. Cool so that's that for this part in the next video we're going to see what how can we actually change the color once we start moving our mouse over them.